Welcome, Tribe, to a video number four about sticking to your back rows while socializing. So it's a five-part video series, and if you want to see the other videos, jump on uh, Transformations by Kim, and there will be all the videos there for you to watch, or jump on my YouTube channel as well. So I share all my videos both across both platforms so that you can get the most out of it. So today we're talking about traveling and what are the five strategies to use while you're traveling. Well, first of all, it is one that comes from my own personal experience. I rocked up to the airport and I had my food with me. However, it's still frozen. So I'm like, well, what can I do here? And then I remembered, ah, I don't have children, but the baby rooms have microwaves. So if you do have frozen food, then the mother's rooms are a quick, easy way to heat up your food. So that's a little bit of a cheat. I don't know if the mothers would be too impressed by me, but um, I think that you guys would understand as well, being mothers, that sticking to your macros is really important, especially post-baby. The next one is to use intolerances. If you're traveling by plane, then this gives you an opportunity to say that you'd like a low-fat meal or a vegetarian meal, or I'm celiac, so the food that I have is obviously gluten-free, so it's very unlikely for a dessert that I end up with a pastry. It's usually something like fruit salad. So you do get the healthier options instead of the run-of-the-mill meal that you do get on airplanes the next one is taking a water bottle with you whether that be in a plane or when you're traveling by car if you're traveling by car as human beings we actually mix up whether or not we're hungry versus we're thirsty and if you're keeping hydrated during your travels then it will certainly help you feel fuller for longer and when you're getting on a plane then taking your water bottle with you and asking please do drink it before you actually get into the queue I learned that one very quickly you're just sculling my bottle of water before I actually get in through security because they don't like liquids but taking that actual water bottle onto the plane with you you can ask the flight attendant to refill your water bottle for you instead of giving those little tiny cups that to drink you actually have your whole water bottle there so you can keep nicely hydrated through your whole entire flight the next one is to pack a cooler bag and that we are now getting a little bit more grown up with our cooler bags I use one by the name of cool clutch and they're really glamorous uh, little cooler bags there are just lots and lots of different uh, cooler bags out in the market now they don't have to be Thomas the Tank Engine like my brothers had when we were children so getting an adult cooler bag and using that and filling that with your snacks and the food that you intend to have on your travels and whether or not that is by a car or I've traveled with pretty much every single food uh, things that don't fly I've learned is yogurt and tuna but I've taken meat and veggies as long as the veggies are cooked uh, domestically everybody's fine with that obviously don't take fruit but I can take a lot of my meals with me in my cooler bag on my checked luggage so just putting that out there for you guys to know that comes from my own experience experience then the last one is googling places like Oliver's I don't know if you've heard of Oliver's and if you travel from Canberra to Sydney there's one actually at Goulburn and soon to be at Sutton Forest lots of Oliver's otherwise Caltex now have your uh, Foods meals a shout out to Caltex in uh, I know our Gold Creek one certainly has and a few other the Caltexes are gearing their food more towards the healthier market so googling where the Caltex or Oliver's food or any of the real uh, cafe kind of meals that you can get as opposed to McDonald's or drive through so just planning where your stops are going to be along your tra uh, travels so that you know where to stop and just having a bit of a plan googling ahead as to where you're going to stop so these are the five strategies if they've helped you I'd love for you to share my videos and get the message out there so that I can help other people along their journey to be fit and healthy so have an awesome day tribe and I'll talk to you soon